In this video, we're going to be having a look at a new feature from Google called Notebook LM. It's getting a fair bit of traction around the internet at the moment, and certainly it's got some remarkable features uh, that are well worthwhile in both academic circles and also in business. So first of all, to get to Notebook LM, simply go to Google and search for Notebook LM, which will take you to this listing here. And that brings you up to the page, which I'll show you mine because I'm already logged in here and we're ready to go. So what we're going to do now is actually set up a new notebook and show you how it works. So we'll just click on new notebook. Now, then it comes up and it asks you if you want to add your sources and you can actually link your Google Drive account. So you can access Google Docs or Slides. No sheets at the moment for some reason or other. I'm not sure why that is. Now, it also says that you can add URLs from websites, although I have had no success from this at all, and I will show you that shortly. And the third source is to paste in text. And you, or you can drop files in, of course, PDFs, text, or markdown files. Uh, so you can use your Obsidian notes and put those straight in. The first thing we might do is actually put in some links and see what that looks like. So we'll put, put a website there. Now we'll just go to an article here that I've written on my website called Harvesting Tomorrow. I'll click on the URL and copy it. Control C, Command C. Go back to Notebook LM. I'll just close that now. That one's no need. And paste in the URL. Control V and insert. And it's working there away now. It's come up red and with an information thing that it can't reach the, the URL, can't reach it. Now, just to show you something here, if we go to Google and search for Notebook LM, and then we'll copy this URL in, go back to the notebook, and you, then you go down here to the notebook guide, which is a little bit confusing. Uh, upload sources, again, put in the website, paste in the URL. Now, this is a Google URL insert and it hasn't worked either right so it seems that the url is not working at this stage but if you have a look up here it does say that notebook lm is in experimental mode so let's be a little bit forgiving while they work these things out so i'm going to delete these remove the sources delete and delete now if we go back to our Upload sources again, and I'm going to copy some text in here. I'm just going to, I could load a file, a text file, because I've got one here, but this is the text from that web page that I showed you. So Control A, Control C, back here, upload the sources, copy the text in, V, and insert. And you can see here, that is actually inserting the text. And it's already produced a summary for me of the page. It's given some suggested questions that I can ask. And then it will also here provided the opportunity to create an audio overview. Now, what this does is that it creates like a podcast almost between a male and a female voice with a conversational type interview or discussion about the article. So I'm going to click on generate there and let that bubble away while we go and have a look at the text itself. So it says it's, it will take a few minutes, so that's fine. Now, when you load any sources, and you can actually load more than this, as I'll show you shortly, when you ask questions within Notebook LM, it only references the source text. It doesn't go outside, certainly not to my knowledge. So let's take one of the suggested questions here, which is what are the potential benefits and drawbacks of AI on communities, both in terms of individual lives and the overall societal structure? Well, we'll question that. Now it's asking the question. Notebook LM is reviewing the content of the text here, and it comes back with the answer. Here's the benefits and the drawbacks. Now it's given several points in bullet point form. But what it does is that it also provides the citations where there's references to this question. And it says here, posted text. If you've put files in there, that will actually show you which files it's coming from when you've got multiple sources there. Uh, and there's another one, AI and community. 
stat and then so it's got all those questions there so let's just put in another question here prepared earlier as they say in all the cooking shows how can community <coughs> leadership training help in community transition can community training and there it is saying it's crucial for navigating the transitions brought about by ai and a shift towards a post-labor economy uh, it's giving me my references there as we consider the future it's it's actually got it pulled out a couple of reference or citations from within the, the document itself as well uh, so it's very good at just doing this and giving you some ideas that you can work with so give that a, a thumbs up now if we go back to the notebook guide uh, it's still generating okay well what we'll do we'll let that go for the moment i'll let that continue and we'll go to another notebook here i just might put uh, edit the title on this one so that we've got that there so we just know which one and we'll go into this one here because this is something that I had to do for a paper that I've just recently written on methodology uh, and what I've done is that I've added a whole range of articles that I've found in academic literature that are to do with methodology so let's just type in a question here and we'll just say what is the relationship between ethic and qualitative research? Enter, pulls it up, and here's our answer. Ethics and qualitative research, complex relationship, and it goes through, and it's it's actually looking here at all the sources. Hennick et al. there. What else have we got? Hennick again. You can see that any of these numbers are all referencing these sources here. And you can go click by clicking on those, you can have a look and find out what it actually says by clicking on the, the, the link. So you click on there and it will actually pull it up on the left hand side and it's highlighted the section that it is actually pulling the information from. So it's really, really handy for that. Now, that's an academic application, but there's no reason why you can't put manuals in here or business documents there is no reason you can't put any sorts of documents in here to build up a reference library that you want to query about anything at all so very very powerful like that whereas in the past all that we've had available really is the ability to chat with individual pdfs now with google's notebook lm we've got the opportunity to chat with multiple pdfs which is fantastic so let's go back now to our video demo and we'll go to our notebook guide and we've got our audio is now completed so let's have a bit of a listen and see what it's got to say ever get that like almost giddy feeling you know when you finally upgrade to the newest phone and it's like everyone else is i don't know stuck in the stone age that's ai right now seriously moving so fast is like we're downloading the future in real time it's true and the thing <laughs> is keeping up with it all it can feel like you need a PhD in like algorithms just to understand what's going on. Exactly. And you know we're all about making sure you feel empowered, not overwhelmed by this stuff. So today we're doing a deep dive into that article you sent over. The one about AI, community, and uh, was it leadership? That's the one. We're going to uncover the good stuff, the stuff that makes you think, whoa, never thought about it that way before. I'm all about those aha moments. Consider me your guide. Helping make sense of how AI is going to reshape things, not just in some like abstract way, but for you, for me, for all of us. Love it. OK, so the article starts off strong, comparing AI's impact to like other big tech moments. Like remember when calculators became a thing, suddenly mental math wasn't the be all and end all anymore. OK, that's probably a sufficient example of the quality of the audio that's coming back out of this. I just find that amazing because you can put any document in there, have an audio overview done on it, and then you can go and listen to it in your car while you're driving or when you're going for a walk or whatever. So there's an overview of Notebook LM. I find it to be one of the most powerful applications that has come out in recent times, and it's all free, certainly at this stage. So I would highly recommend that you go and have a bit of a play with it and see what you can do. So until next time, cheers.